that's not a good look. This is outside of whatever is in there. Boneyard indeed. I'm back, and I've got another unboxing. This one is from Airsoft GI. Now I know, I said I wasn't gonna do any more Airsoft GI mystery boxes, but this isn't a mystery box. This is the mystery boneyard box, so it's like, whatever I get in it, I know is already gonna be junk. Before I get into this box, I do wanna say that last week's video, uh, she overwhelmingly won by your comments, so yes, her box was definitely better than mine. That gun was just too cool to compete with my box. So I, I concede she has the victory on that one. But I did read all the comments of you urging her to play an airsoft game. So we're gonna do that. She doesn't know that yet. She's shaking her head no, but it's happening. We are working on a few other unboxings coming up. The Wish one did so well. I ordered more stuff. It's gonna be bigger and better. This time I'm hoping that the items are actually quality. Last time I kinda ordered stuff that I was like, eh, if it's garbage, it's garbage. It was garbage. So we're gonna film that one when everything comes in. Who knows when that could be. It could be a month, it could be a week, it could be never. We're going to film it eventually. And I do have a few different kind of videos that I'm gonna put up, some reaction videos. That's soon too, but for now, Mystery unboxing. Airsoft GI. It is the Rare Parts slash Guns Boneyard Mystery Box featuring AEGs, gas blowbacks, gas shotguns, no shipping coupons. That's right there in the title. I mean, come on. This cost $59.99 and shipping was $30.96. No shipping coupons. I did end up using a coupon to save $3 on the box but still got hit with that shipping. So always check for coupon codes because I saved $3 on this box. So the total, I believe, after everything on this was $78.09. Not bad. This week, I'm gonna unbox the Boneyard box with this knife here that's got like a bone on the handle. Pretty sure this bone is like deer. Uh, might not even be real. Don't think it is. But Boneyard box, bone knife. It's got a little Indian dude on it. So let's cut open this box right now. I have no idea what this is. You have no idea what this is. This seems really threatening. I'm going to stop doing that right now. Get, get them edges. Now I did hear some stuff loose jingling around in there. I hope that's not a bad sign. means there's not that much paper, if any. Okay, let me feel around. All right, all right. Yes, that's some paper right there. They didn't even like crumble it. It's just like a sheet. What is this, a canvas? Am I supposed to paint some French girls with this? It's just a canvas. What should I do with this canvas? I'm gonna draw something on it. Mm. Ooh. I don't think, okay, here's something else. Packing slip, I'm not gonna read that just in case. I wanna be surprised. There is something off to the side. Let's get this first. This, I know what this is. This is a tobacco pipe. No, I'm just kidding. It's a hop-up unit and a barrel. That's not a good look. This is outside of whatever is in there. Boneyard indeed. This is, uh. It looks like an M16 slash M14, maybe. It's a really long barrel. Uh-oh. So that's, <laughs> that's what I heard jingling around in there. I probably just spent $60 on some garbage. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what this box is first. Now you know what it is. She, she's making a strange face. That's not, I don't like that. I don't know if I like that face. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the box. Oh, here's something else. No, oh, it's not in here, is it? It is, it's on the left. There's a couple things on the bottom left. 
Let's get to that first. Okay guys, this is two more barrels. It's a blue hop-up unit, looks really cheap. And this thing, ooh, that's nice. It's a full rail system with a vert grip. This looks like it could go on an M4. Yeah, it's threaded. I could use this. I can make a build out of this. That's cool. Full metal too. Hold on. That's empty. Ugh. Two more. Full metal. It's seen some use. This is definitely off of someone's gun. Like a personal gun. This isn't new stock or whatever. This is boneyard, but this is good. This is good boneyard. This is nice boneyard. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. Now, ready, set, go. Jag Arms Scatter Gun. That means it's a gas shotgun. That might be good, but if it doesn't work, if, if it's broken, that might not be good. I have bought some Boneyard guns in the past. I got a gun off of Evike. I got a Mosin Nagant. That was gas. It was a gas sniper. The only thing it was missing was the gas fill valve. I took one out of an old mag that I had laying around. Boom. I had a brand new Mosin again. This, let's find out, because I've always wanted to try the scatter gun. This is not a cheap shotgun, as you guys know. So maybe I'll be able to finally try the scatter gun. I love shotguns. This is awesome. Let's let's do it's it. It's a lie. What's a lie? Oh no, it's not like it's not that even gun. a scatter gun. It's gonna be like uh it's a gel blaster. Okay, now you got me worried. Like, what if it's not a scatter gun? What if it's uh, all right, we just have to look. We have to do this. Are you ready? I'm do. We're doing this. Here we go. Three, two, one. She's making a face again. I don't like this. Oh, there's the mag. It's a scatter gun. Oh, this is the gas reservoir that goes in the stock. It looks good. I don't know much about it. I have handled the Marui version. It has speed loader. Oop, that's a brand new speed loader. We got the gun here and three shells. Okay, somebody has definitely filed off something here. Maybe the logo? Okay, that works, that sounds good. The last shotgun I got from a Boneyard box, I got a spring s and from Evike and it was locked. It wouldn't budge. I still haven't fixed it. I need to get an Allen key, like a T-bar key that goes all the way down the stock and I can't find one long enough to get the stock off to get to the insides to figure out what's jammed. But this actually, it does the thing. Guys, it does the thing. I'm gonna have to find gas in a minute. Yeah, I guess let's see if the gas reservoir fits in. It locked in. I like that. I don't have any gas in it, but who knows? Maybe they shipped it with some gas. It has gas in it! You know the next step, guys. Babies? Yes, we need to get some of the Barrett 2s that we got last time from Evike. All right, we got some BBs. This is really cool, guys. I'm really nervous. Um, this is the make it or break it time. So we got some of the Barrett Twos that we got from Evike last time. I think that was the Heat Wave Edition. So I'm just going to load up a little bit. I'm going to put the lid back on that because I have been known to spill BBs. Here we go. I'm going to insert the shell. That sounded pretty good. Lock it down. Okay, we're gonna rack it. That should have loaded some rounds into the gun. <sighs> Moment of truth, guys. I'm just gonna shoot it at this pillow behind the camera and uh, my reaction will tell you everything. Here we go, three, two, one. BBs came out the barrel. There was not, there's not that much gas in it, but BBs came out the barrel. I just went and found a can of green gas. So we're gonna try and fill up the mag. Time to fill. It's not leaking. Okay, 
try it dry fire first. BBs came out. Insert shell. Rack gun. That sounds good. Let's see how many come out. I'm gonna shoot into the cardboard box. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. No, that went towards the computer. I'm gonna unload the rest of these rounds out the window. I'm gonna shoot all of them. That's it. Did anything happen? A uh, whole bunch of BBs went out the window and hit the trees way across the parking lot. Wow, guys. Wow. It was holding gas when we got it, so there's no leaks. It shot three rounds consistently, so there's no jams. The only thing I can tell with this gun is somebody filed something off. I'm assuming it's trademarks or maybe a logo. Something was filed down really well. Like, they really went at it with some kind of Dremel. But it's got a few scuffs. That doesn't bother me. Uh, so what does this gun retail for on the website? 165. 165 for this shotgun scatter gun by Jag. It came with speed loader, three shells, which even when you get a boneyard gun, they're missing shells. We're missing a mag, missing the gas reservoir. I've seen it all. We got three inner barrels. Two generic hop-up units that are probably, I would say, no good. But you never know. If you need one on the fly, not bad. The rail system with a grip on it. I don't know. I'd give that a $20 bill right there. A used rail system. Kind of looks like it's for a 416. Generic grip. I usually sell these for like $5. Uh, so I'd say this is $25. I'd say another five for the barrels and hop-up units, so that's 30. So we're looking at $200 here. 165, I'd give this about 25 bucks. Another five in barrels. So, just about $200 when I spent 78 bucks for once. The first time ever, Airsoft GI came through on a mystery box. I know, it sucks guys, it sucks to say that. I know a few of you are with me on never buying those mystery boxes again because how many did we buy and how many pistols did we get? For $120, you get a $99 pistol and that's it. They make you pay the shipping, I get that. But when there's so many other sites that are doing so many other mystery boxes, you gotta compete, guys. I'm not knocking you, I'm just saying. You gotta compete. Airsoft GI is still a great website to purchase from, but it's just their regular mystery boxes don't do it for me. I need that excitement. And knowing that I could get a $99 pistol off of a $130 investment doesn't do it for me. This does. This is cool. I don't know what made this boneyard other than being dremeled down on the side because it's functional 100%. It came with everything. There's nothing missing. I'm just, I'm baffled. For once, this was a win. I, I got a win from Airsoft GI. Crazy. Okay, the, the packing slip does just say, Rare Parts Slash Guns Boneyard Mystery Box. Featuring AGs, gas blowbacks, and a gas shotgun. It says gas shotgun, one. I don't know if I got the only gas shotgun. Maybe I won. I don't know. I'll have to check the site. I did end up using a gift voucher that I had for some reason. I don't know why, but I had $9.86 on my account as a gift voucher from probably a refund I had a long time ago. Don't remember that. $3 using a discount code that I googled. Shipping was $30. Like I said, $30.96. The box itself was $59.99. For $200 worth of stuff and a $160 working shotgun. It was a win. We are finished this unboxing. I do want to say thank you to all of you for watching, commenting, subscribing. We're really getting momentum. The more you guys share, the better this is going to get for everyone. I am going to do some giveaways, so go find me on Instagram, C7Viper. You'll know it's me. You'll see it's all airsoft stuff. I will eventually, actually pretty soon, going to do a giveaway of a custom mystery box that I make for one of you. Just go follow me, 
on Instagram and we'll get that rolling. So thanks again. I do consider each and every one of you airsoft teammates of mine. So if we ever end up on the field together, we're on a team, even if we're not, because you could be on opposite teams. Okay. <laughs> right. Get it? You could be on opposite teams, because if we're on opposite teams, we're still team members. We're the Viper Syndicate. That's what I used to call it. The Viper Syndicate. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Shoot with the rocket.